Hi there and welcome to Nostalgia Hit. In today's video we look back at Crime Scene Investigation, which was also referred to as CSI or CSI Las Vegas, a multi-award winning American television series. It depicted a fictional team of crime scene investigators that solved crimes from a scientific perspective. The show was successful nationally and internationally and spawned many other shows in the CSI franchise including Miami, New York and Cyber. The original show began on October 6, 2000 and ran for 15 seasons, climaxing in September 2015 with a two-hour series finale called Immortality. Today we look back at the main cast of the series. Enjoy the video! Lawrence Fishburne, now age 60. In the show Fishburne plays Dr. Raymond Ray Langston. He joins the crime lab as a level 1 CSI, eventually gaining promotion to level 2. In the season 11 finale Father of the Bride, his ex-wife is kidnapped by a serial killer who Langston then kills. In self-defense, Langston is then pressured into resigning from the team by internal affairs. He leaves to care for his traumatized ex-wife, leaving the crime lab devastated. Elizabeth Shue, now aged 57, in the show Shue plays Julie Finlay, the night shift CSI assistant supervisor and blood spatter specialist. She works well with the others in the team and builds strong relationships. She is also a huge fan of Lord of the Rings, admitting to watching it more than 40 times. Elizabeth Harnois, now aged 42, in the show Harnois plays Morgan Brody, a skilled crime scene investigator and estranged daughter of Sheriff Conrad Eckley. She first appeared in Cello and Goodbye as a CSI in Los Angeles. After moving to Las Vegas, she quickly becomes a strong member of the team. Ted Danson, now age 73, in the show Danson plays D.B. Russell. He is the night shift CSI supervisor and director of the Las Vegas Crime Lab. He is also a skilled botanist and veteran crime scene investigator. In season 2012, he was brought in by Conrad Eckley in order to straighten the team out. He retired from the Bureau in 2015 after being shot in the line of duty. John Wellner, now aged 46. In the show, Wellner plays Henry Andrews, a toxicology and DNA specialist in the forensics laboratory. He often attempts to be comical or witty without any avail. He is super intelligent, friendly, and good-natured. On occasions he appears highly strong. David Berman, now aged 47. In the show Berman plays David Phillips, nicknamed Super Dave. A skilled assistant medical examiner with a dark sense of humor. His lack of social experience causes him to be regularly teased by his co-workers. Liz Vassy, now aged 49. In the show Vassy plays Wendy Sims. A DNA technician who expresses a desire to work in the field. She is a caring person, who always does her job with great care and detail. She later becomes a crime scene investigator in Portland to be closer to her sister. Her departure leaves her colleague, David Hodges, who had feelings for her devastated. Lauren Lee Smith, now aged 41. In the show Smith plays Riley Adams. A smart, witty, and flirtatious nonconformist who entered law enforcement to rebel against her parents, who were both psychologists. Her stay was short-lived. In the season 10 opener, a report is found where Adams states her and the team were not working well together, and that she had accepted a law enforcement position in the Midwest. Wallace Langham Now aged 56, in the show Langham plays David Hodges, a lab technician with a BA from Williams College, who has an unusually acute sense of smell, and is able to identify many chemical compounds by their odor alone. He comes across as a bit of a loner with an attitude problem, though he sometimes redeems himself. Louise Lombard, now aged 50, in the show Lombard plays Sophia Curtis, initially a CSI who becomes assistant supervisor. She then makes a career switch to detective, and rapidly rises through the ranks and to become LVPD's deputy chief. Sophia's final appearance was in Season 8 Episode 1, Dead Doll. There was no explanation as to what happened to her afterwards. Then in Season 11 Episode 20, she comes back for a single episode as the new deputy chief. Paul Guilfoyle, now aged 72. In the show Guilfoyle plays Captain Jim Brass, a homicide detective captain. Brass is the legal muscle for the CSI team, doing most of the arresting and interrogation of suspects. He retires from the force at the end of season 14 to focus on his daughter and takes a job at the Eclipse Casino as head of security, as seen in series finale Immortality. Robert David Hall, now age 73, in the show Hall plays Dr. Albert Al Robbins, the chief medical examiner and head county coroner of the Las Vegas Police Department. 
As a teenager he was hit head-on by a drunk driver and lost both of his legs. He walks with the use of prosthetic limbs and a crutch. Eric Schmanda, now aged 46. In the show Schmanda plays Greg Sanders, a DNA specialist who went to a prestigious private school for gifted students. A cheerful and optimistic individual who believes in psychic powers and always goes to any lengths to find out what is true. He climbs the ladder to a level 3 CSI, becoming one of the most senior members of the Las Vegas CSI team. Georgia Fox, now aged 53. In the show Fox plays Sarah Seidel, a materials and element analyst who often becomes too emotionally invested in her cases. During the show she develops a relationship with Gil Grissom, whom she later marries. After a stormy relationship and divorce, Sarah is promoted to director of the crime lab, though she relinquishes this position to reunite with Grissom in the season finale. Immortality. George Eads, now aged 54, in the show Eads plays Nick Stokes, a gifted crime scene investigator who has a natural empathy with the people affected by the crimes he investigates. During the show Nick suffers emotional scars and at the end of season 15 leaves Las Vegas when he is named the director of the San Diego PD Crime Lab. Gary Dowerton, now aged 54, in the series Dowerton plays Warwick Brown, a level 3 CSI and skilled audio video analyst. In the series he had a severe gambling problem, one that began to impair his professional career. In season 9, after being acquitted of murder and proven innocent, Brown is assassinated by a corrupt police officer. Marge Helgenberger, now aged 62, in the show Helgenberger plays Catherine Willows, initially the night shift CSI assistant supervisor, a gifted blood spatter analyst. She works her way up to assistant supervisor, later succeeding Grissom as the night shift CSI supervisor. During the series finale she is granted the directorship of the crime lab. William Peterson, now aged 68, in the show Peterson plays Gil Grissom, the night shift CSI supervisor, a highly respected forensic entomologist with a doctoral degree in biology. Grissom is rarely upset by the various subcultures he comes across in his line of work, but it often means he's unsympathetic and insensitive to other people. At the end of season 8, he quits his job to fly out to Costa Rica. After the odd guest slot here and there, Peterson returns as Grissom six years later at the end of season 15, in the show's finale Immortality, where he confesses his love for Sarah. The series ends with them sailing away from the port of San Diego. Thanks for watching Nostalgia Hit. Please remember to subscribe and hit the like button if you enjoyed the video as it really helps the channel. Also, why not watch another video listed on the screen now? Until next time.